Oops. Hello. Hello, this is a joke clip because I didn't start recording the last one, so I gotta keep the number in because it's the extent of you go. Okay. Greetings, boy fans! Michael here. For those of you who have not been watching my Pokemon Moon Wonderlock, which if you have not, I recommend that you do, because I've been getting a lot of cool stuff in Wonder Trade, you're probably wondering why everything is different. Well, the reason things are different is because I am home for my last winter break before college graduation, and I decided to hang up these posters since I didn't want to deal with taking the other ones down and then hanging them back up again twice. So, please accept these alternate posters for the remainder of my Christmas break. After several weeks of top 10s or top 5s centering around Pokemon Sun and Moon and the new Pokemon or information from them, I thought it was time that I go back to a top 10 about Pokemon in general as a whole. It took me a while to figure out what kind of list I wanted to do, but eventually I decided on a list that I thought would be pretty fun. Which Pokemon are the dumbest? Now when I say the dumbest Pokemon, I'm not talking about the ones that are ugly or unlikable, like, oh, that one's dumb. For example, I'm not going to say that Execute is dumb, because while I do think that its design and concept are really dumb, the Pokemon itself is not unintelligent. The Pokemon on this list are going to be ones that we know, through one way or another, have substantially lower intelligence than most other Pokemon. So be sure to leave a like, comment below which Pokemon you think are going to be on the list, and subscribe if you haven't. And without further ado, here are the top 10 dumbest Pokemon of all time. Number 10, Gumshoes. So the Pokedex never flat out says that Gumshoes is dumb, but one of its Pokedex entries makes me think that it is. Its moon entry reads, it adores having Rattata and Raticate for dinner, but as it's diurnal, it never encounters them. This Pokemon boasts incredible patience. First question, if it never encounters them, how does it know that it loves them? But anyways, for those of you who don't know, diurnal means that it's something is awake during the day and therefore is the opposite of Nocturnal. So essentially, Gumshoes loves to eat Alolan Rattata and Raticate, but it never gets to because it's awake at a different time than them. My question is, why not just stay up into the night and hunt them then? Or just hunt them while they're sleeping? There are ways around the problem of being awake at a different time than your prey, and while biology might come into play here, I still think it's pretty dumb of Gumshoes not to be able to eat these things more often. Number nine. Sligu. I discussed Sligu a little while ago in my top 10 shocking new Pokemon facts from Pokemon Sun and Moon video, and it is here on this list for the same reason it was on the other one. It can't tell the difference between friends and food. Its moon entry reads, it has trouble drawing a line between friends and food. It will calmly try to melt and eat even those it gets along well with. Now while Sligu is blind, so it has somewhat of an excuse since it can't really see that it's trying to eat the wrong thing, it doesn't get off scot-free. Sligu actually has a high-performance radar system used to detect sounds and smells, so with that information, it should be able to tell the difference between friends and food. However, the fact that it cannot means that it must not have very much going on up in its brain. If it even has a brain. Slugs don't, so Sligu probably doesn't either. Number 8, Feebas. Feebas is well known as that ugly little fish that turns into the beautiful and majestic Milotic. Now while Phoebus may be hard to find, which anyone who tried to catch one in the original Hoenn games knows very well, it shouldn't be that hard to catch once you find it, since Feebas is tied with many other Pokemon for the highest catch rate in the game. But why is its catch rate so high? Well, according to its Sapphire Dex entry, it is slow and dim-witted, making it an easy catch. Feebas may be very hardy, but it's not intelligent enough to avoid capture once found. I think it's odd that the Dex calls it slow, though, since Feebas' base speed stat is a pretty solid 80. Who knows? Number 7, Quagsire. Quagsire is an easygoing, chill Pokemon. Most of its Dex entries discuss its carefree attitude and general indifference toward hitting its head on things while swimming. Now while this might lead you to believe that it just has a really pain insensitive or thick skull, its Pearl Dex entry informs us that this thing is just plain dumb. A dim-witted Pokemon. It doesn't care if it bumps its head into boats or rocks while swimming. Quagsire may have a thick skull, but it's also too stupid to not notice things that it's running into. And once it actually hits its head on them, it's too dumb to learn from its mistake and not do it again. 
On the bright side, Quagsire is probably so laid back that it doesn't care that it's dumb. Number six, P Dub. P Dub is based on city pigeons, and while pigeons have been shown to be fairly intelligent birds, P Dub has not. Its black Pokedex entry reads, each follows its trainer's orders as best as it can, but they sometimes fail to understand complicated commands. And its black two and white two entry reads, this very forgetful Pokemon will wait for a new order from its trainer even though it already has one. p memory and cognition have shown to be subpar, making it the dumbest of the regional birds. It makes logical sense though, p lives in an urban environment feeding on human scraps and trash, so therefore it doesn't really require the survival skills that other bird Pokemon do. Number 5, Rhyhorn. Another Pokemon whose real life inspiration is fairly intelligent, but the Pokemon is not, is Rhyhorn. Rhinos may not have very good eyesight, but they are actually pretty smart and have been shown to be able to be trained like dogs. Rhyhorn, however, is a different story. Its Sapphire Dex entry reads, Rhyhorn's brain is very small. It is so dense that while on a run, it forgets why it started running in the first place. It apparently remembers sometimes if it demolishes something. And its platinum entry reads, Its powerful tackles can destroy anything. However, it is too slow-witted to help people work. According to the Pokedex, Rhyhorn is so dumb that it's only good at charging in straight lines and demolishing things for no apparent reason. Yet even though that's the case, for some reason Rhyhorn racing is still a thing in Kalos. Pokemon logic. Number 4. Magikarp. Magikarp is another dumb fish that has probably only survived to this day due to its ability to evolve into the fearsome Gyarados and the fact that it is incredibly fertile. Even though the Pokedex never outright calls it dim-witted, you could just tell that it is based on what it does. It splashes too high so that predators can get it more easily, and in the face of a fearsome enemy, it doesn't try to flee, it just splashes about, taking hits. Magikarp is just so dumb and that it's no wonder it provides so much food for other species, because catching one is a joke. Number three, Slowpoke. The famous dull, dim-witted slow, or whatever other term you want to use Pokemon is of course on this list. Slowpoke is, well, slow, which is obviously very intentional in its design. But not only is its body slow, its brain is too. Its red and blue dex entry reads, Incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. And its crystal entry reads, It is always so absent-minded that it won't react, even if its flavorful tail is bitten. Now while another dex entry does say that Slowpoke's tail doesn't feel pain, the fact that it takes five seconds for it to feel pain anywhere else means that Slowpoke is pretty dumb. It's too slow to react to anything, it regularly forgets what it's doing, and it's constantly spaced out, making Slowpoke easily one of the dumbest Pokemon out there. No wonder it became a meme. Number 2, Numel. Numel is high on this list because the Pokedex calls it extremely dull-witted. Seriously! Its Ruby entry reads, Numel is extremely dull-witted. It doesn't notice being hit. However, it can't stand hunger for even a second. This Pokemon's body is a seething cauldron of boiling magma. Slowpoke may have taken five seconds to feel pain, but Numel may never notice it's being attacked. Numel is incredibly dumb, but looking at its face, that should be unsurprising. But do you want to know another amusing fact? All of Numel's abilities back up the fact that it's dumb. Oblivious, simple, and own tempo. At least it has hope when it evolves into Camerupt though, since he seems to very angrily know what it's doing. Number one, Slowbro. Everything I said about Slowpoke gets amplified for Slowbro. Why? Because of the shelter on its tail. Its sun entry reads, it spaces out while gazing at the sea. With shelter's poison flowing through its body, it becomes even spacier. And its crystal entry reads, naturally dull to begin with, it lost its ability to feel pain due to Shelter's seeping poison. Slowpoke is dumb, Numel is a bit dumber, but Slowbro is dumber than both of them because Shelter's poisons are numbing its brain, making it even slower than it already was. The fact that it can't even feel pain is actually pretty scary too, since it wouldn't know if something was wrong with it. 
Slowbro is so dumb that the only thing that can give it any inspiration is when Shelter bites down harder on its tail, and even that goes away instantly. Slowbro's only hope of ever becoming smart is if the Shelter gets knocked off of its tail and it reverts back to a Slowpoke, which is something that several dex entries say can occur. Then that Slowpoke evolves into a Slowking instead, since for some reason if Shelter bites down on its head, the poisons make it really intelligent. Thanks to the Parasitic Shelter, Slowbro is by far the dumbest Pokemon in existence, and I do not wish its mental state on anyone. So there we have it! Those are the top 10 dumbest Pokemon of all time. I do have to say though, I think it's really nice that these Pokemon will still do what you say in the games, because if the games were more realistic, most of these Pokemon would just kind of sit there doing nothing. All the time. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with my list? What are some other Pokemon that you think are really unintelligent? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe for more fun Pokemon content of all kinds. Alright, that's all I have for now, so until next time, Book fans! Gotta catch them all!